Vikendi has been my favorite map for quite a while now, before the Reborn update. There used to be a 6x6 map, now it's an 8x8, which I think it's a favorite to a lot of people that it's a big map. It is a brand new map, they have really put their time and effort into uh, working out the terrain of the map and the placement of uh, covers. The cities are a lot more filled with items, it's more eventful to play. I quite like it a lot, yeah. I think it's amazing. So the train is a safe way to get to somewhere. In the train you can hide a bit, but you can also scout the area. You can look out and then jump off the train in moving speed and then go explore the area. So I, I think it's the safer way to travel. And, but also you can take fights while on it, which is super cool, super cool. You can run with the direction where the train is heading. So if it's heading towards the right, you run right. You would take a lot more damage. You might almost get knocked from jumping off. If you, you were to run left and jump off, you take less damage. The cable car is very similar to the train, where you always get the overview of the map where you're heading. They go back and forth, and there's always two cable cars going. So midway, you will meet the second cable car coming towards you, and that's where the fun can begin. And you can also drive your car on top of the cable car. Um, so you can always have your vehicle with you. And there's a lot of Panzer files near the cable cars. So you gotta be careful. The lab camps. These are camps that you can find over at the frozen lake in between Dinoland and Coal Mine. Which are the perfect place to travel to if you're in big need of either boosts or throwables. Which you can find in the yellow crates around the camp. You also have a red crate who contains guns and ammo, if you need that. And you also have the last crate, which is the blue one, which has a lot of different attachments to grab. But it is super risky going there, because once you take an item out of the containers, the alarm will be set off for a few seconds. So if you're in big need or feel dangerous enough, then I would definitely check out the camps for some good loot. The crowbar is a throwable or a melee weapon where you used to throw it at people or just punch them with before. But now on Vikendi you can open med cabinets to provide meds. You can open up doors that are locked so they're more useful than before. If you have a crowbar with you, you can just open the door and uh, you can get it on top of the roof, which you couldn't unless you had the crowbar. If you see a crowbar, always pick it up. It can come in handy but you wouldn't know when. In the center is the tower where you can zip line up and down to get uh, a bit of a high ground advantage for people to just uh, snipe around, look out, to scout forward to where you want to move next, your parachute to jump off in if you need to get down super quick, which is also quite nice. So the fuel pumps are placed around where you can just drive up and next to them and refill your vehicle to full gas, uh, which comes in handy if you're super low on gas and you don't have the time to loot for a gas can. But you can also, if you see an enemy uh, gassing up their car, you can shoot the gas pumps and then they will blow up on them. I would say pay attention to the gas stations on the fuel pumps because people usually go for them and fill up their cars. If you die and your teammate is still up, uh, you get a second chance to get back into the playground. You will be placed into a small island on the map where you are with other enemies and then you need to loot up to find gear, guns, and then fight for your life to survive and get out. But if you are so unlucky to actually die in the combat arena, you can get a second chance. Or if you're extremely unlucky and die a second time, you have your third and last chance which all happens within phase one. So uh, it's quite nice to like have three different opportunities to get back to the, the play field, yeah. If you are so unlucky and get back into the comeback arena, then loot up fast and watch your back be on your best lookout. The snowmobile is a vehicle that is uh, featured on Weekendly only. It is designed for the winter map and you get fast forward. It's super nice to drive and it's also super fun to drive. You can be two people on it and uh, it gets you wherever you need to go quickly, no matter what terrain. Test it out, try it. The snowmobile is, is fun to drive. So I would definitely recommend you to test it out and try it. I think it's a unique season pass from what I've seen before and I, I really love it. Yeah, there's a lot of unique uh, skins, whether it's uh, shoes, uh, hats, uh, jackets, weapon skins, 
charms for your weapons. I really, really like the bear coat that you get on level 50. That is a super cool jacket and I want to get it as fast as I can. So I'm going to be playing the game for a lot the next few days to grind to it. So I've been waiting for Vikendi for the longest time and I've been, yeah, so excited as a kid on Christmas Eve. It's amazing to play it again.